All right, you trader nerds. Real traders never trade alone. They trade with their fellow nerds. Welcome in, y'all. How you doing? It is a wacky Tuesday, and we've got a little bit of a sell-off today, 0.86% down, down 44 points in uh, timid volume. Uh, not a lot of people trading this. It's kind of slow. And VIX has popped back up to 15. And the AD number is negative 311. So... That's pretty low. You may see uh, even lower than what we are today. AD is going down. Price is going down. Uh, may actually take out. We've got an area of support here. We don't see this often on our chart, but this is the weekly pivot point, and it's kind of a support or resistance line there, so it's serving as a little bit of support. So we'll see. Uh, this is the last day for our – Big Green Monster, we will redraw this tomorrow. But we are oversold. And if you believe this, which now it's pretty much moot, we'll uh, see what it looks like tomorrow. We probably are, are fairly priced. We're at the point of control. So we'll see. You look at the linear regression. God, I hate that they do this. Hey, Beth, here, turn that down. I can't hear. So let's see. Linear regression is... Um, you know, what I think is what we're seeing is we had a down move. Now we've got an area of a little bit of consolidation, kind of a, a little bounce here. And then I think the market's probably going to resume uh, one way or the other. Uh, it's either going to go down or it's going to go up. I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, the major trend is up. So, you know, we very well may continue to go up in the, the overall trend. We just had a little downtrend there. So I don't know. Anybody can draw lines, and they really don't mean anything. It's just hindsight is twenty twenty, Or as Pat Dye says, it's hindsight is 50-50. All right. So let's see how our account's doing today. So let me pull it up on my phone since I can't show it anymore uh, without showing the account number. So we'll see how our little account is. It was down earlier today. So our little account is, oh, man, let me go here and turn that off. Here we go. Now, we are at 344.52. 344.52. Let's see what that looks like. 340.452. 340.452. Fire up the band, Rico. Now, let's remember this number, 340, 452, 340, 452. Let's go over here. 340, 452. And we had additions to the account this month. Let's say we put in, uh, let's say we put in 150,000. So let's see how we're doing over here. So we put in 150. Make that a little wider. So we did 150,000 was our addition and subtraction. So we didn't have the best of months this month, did we? Um, we were up $2,300. So let's go and look how we did. We are, were up 5,000 for January. We were up 9,000 for February. March, we were up 3,400 and we're up 2,300 uh, for this month. And that gives us a total. Now, where would we want to be? We would love to be at, let's see, uh, uh, what, about 7% or so? Let's see. So 7% would be good, and we're at 7.26. So we're right on track, y'all, for what we want to accomplish in this account because 20% is really where we want. So if we're a third of the way through, multiply this time three, and that would be 21% after our fees and everything that we pay for our – uh, for our uh, commissions and all that. So let's see how our Gregson ratios are doing today. Gregson ratios. Let's go find this account. So this is the 72 account. And let's click to trade that. And make sure we don't have anything else clicked here. So we are at 351.282. 351.282. Two eighty two. 
And VIX, we said, was at 15. So our buying power, we don't include Bill in this. So let's go to positions, 117.9. So we'll say 118,000 on buying power. Good. So we're only at 34%, y'all. This is doing really good in this account. This account's just doing really, really good. We're a little blue in theta, but we'll add some theta today. Let's go to our little things here. Aha. So we see that we've got two put debit spreads that are expiring today out of the money. So let's put zeros there. And then let's go ahead and close those out for today. 4, 30, 24. No. 430, sorry, 430.24 and 430.24. So those all are gone. So let's get rid of them. So we only show our open positions, but do that by showing blank positions. There we go. So we've got some other put debit spreads, 17 days out, 31 days, and our nearest naked put is at 51 days. So really, really good here. Everything looks good. And let's look at our hedges that we've got on we've got 117 shorts of our sweet bobby hedges and we've got on 150 long hedges now what we need to see is have any of our trades let's see if any of our little gtc orders have filled in the last few days since we last looked on the 25th and looks like nothing has We've got all these little orders that have uh, filled, so nothing nothing bad. I mean, isn't it amazing that we're down 0.8% and this account's only down $200? Really, really good. Really, really strong. So let's go and do a trade. And we do this in the E-minis. And so uh, trade, E-minis, we want to go out to 120 days, baby. So we got 122 days. Let's see if we can find something here. So let's go out to a 10% probability of being in the money. Let's go up to this 45.50. That's 11%. So let's go to 45.50. And let's try to get 33.75. Probably won't. Oh, we, well, we didn't. I thought we did. Let's see. So let's go back to the working order. Let's try to move that down a little bit from 33.75 to 33.50. And that should fail. There we go. There's an issue with the order. Please check my whatever. Let's see what we just feel. Oh, we did get filled 33.75. Good. Good, 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 good. So that was today, right? Yep. So we sold the 45.50 for 33.75. 45, 50, 33.75. 45, 50, 33.75. And let's put that in. Now. Hope everybody had a great day. We went to the skating rink with my daughter for her field trip today, the second grade of Bowden Elementary School. I all had a good time. I did not skate. No, I did not. I know better. I'm more wise than that. So, Nick here, 122, control your colon. Here we go. So, we brought in $1,685. That ain't bad, is it, for a naked put for $33.75? Now I'm questioning 3375. Yeah, it was. So that is naked put. We said 25. Naked put 20. No, let's see. Naked put 26. So let's go find him. Naked put 26 positions. Where are you at? You must be down here. Yeah, naked put 26. So let's group him. NP 26. All right, now let's go do the put debit spread. So the put debit spread is going to be, uh, let's see, I may have to do it closer to the money. I'm probably going to spend more than I want to here, but I don't want to overlap straps, overlap, overlap strikes, not overlap straps. Oh, that's twenty two seventy five. I don't want to pay that much. Now let's move on way down here. Move this thing down just by a cheapo. Now what is? Oh, I'm sorry. Got too many things here. Let's go back and see what this was. There, eleven dollars. That's not bad, and it puts it closer to the money. Let's do that. Let's try that for eleven dollars. I'm on little feller. Yeah, I'm a little feller. Let's bump him up a little bit. Eleven and a quarter. 
And that's the field. That's 11 and a quarter field. So 4950, 11 and a quarter. 4950. And 11 and a quarter, a case quarter. All right. So we'll go ES, one contract. And then let's look at our overall thing and see what it looks like, our overall risk profile. Uh, this is debit spread, 122. 430 24. Good. So we brought in eleven hundred dollars worth of premium. That's all you can hope for. And let's go put him in the PDS 26. So here he is. Right click in group positions, PDS 26. And let's just look see if we got any naked puts that are at big profits. There's a naked put 16 at 70. Let's see. Here's naked put 17 at 48%. Naked put 18 at 40%. Negative, let's see, BSH naked put 19 at negative 18%. There's at 2%. Let's see, 23, 34%, 22 at 3%. Uh, naked put 24 at 13%, 25. And that's great. It's fun just looking to see how much profitable all the things are. Let's see if we got any in this one here. Let's close that. BSH, PDS, and it could put 15. This is probably my oldest. This is 77% with 52 days to go. Now, you could close that if you wanted to, but I don't think there's a need to. Let's let this, uh, let's let this mature a little bit and get to about – you know, 90, 95% profit before you start taking them off. But these, this is really good, Joe, really good. So now our deltas are at 396 and our theta is at 306. And you start thinking about that theta, you go, hey, man, that's pretty good. That means you should make $306 a day, right? So $306 times 366 days in the year is you should make 111996 but what do they tell us that the probability is you're going to keep only, what, 25% of that? Isn't that right? So times 0.25, if you kept that, you would make $28,000. So if you kept that, you would make $28,000 on a, what size account is it? $28,000 a year divided by, what we got here? $340,000. That's not too good, is it? Right by three hundred forty thousand. That's eight point two percent. But here's what I'm telling you: that's if you're selling strangles and all of that kind of stuff. I think with what we have going on, y'all, I think we're going to do much better than the eight percent that we're projected out today. I really do. Because if we do get a nice grind down, what do we have? We have something that looks like this. Look at this little risk profile, which shows, hey, here's where we are in the money. Now, we've we've had several weeks of a couple of weeks of going down, 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 down. And look at this, y'all. We're getting close to that nice profit tent. Oh, my gosh. Look at there. There's $66,000 if we go down that much. So I want the market to go down. Uh, do I have a class on your AD line indicator? No, but I could I could do something, Robert, if you want me to. Um, you know, it's not much to it. It's just advancers on decline. And I got this from Theo Trade, and uh, we got this great little thing keeps up with the VIX and the AD. Here's here's the way I used to scalp, and I'll just show you. This would be, hey, in, yeah, hey, hey, Hal, yeah, your return's probably higher than that seven, eight percent you're showing because you just added 150,000 in the account this month, right? Yeah, you're right. So that's that's made my numbers water down this month too, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah, I mean, and I'll beef it up, of course. You know, and two, remember, we've got this position sizing thing now that says I can do two a week. So what I'm doing is on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're doing this account. So on Tuesdays, I'm putting a trade on, and on Thursday, I'm putting a trade on. So that's exactly right, Hal. Plus, Hal, as you were probably, I thought you were going to remind me, Bobby, some you got of the, all those uh, black swan hedges. I got all those black swan hedges. And if Bertino is correct, and I assume and make the assumption that he is, 
that a lot of that theta is fake negative theta. So our theta, our real theta, is actually higher than what the theta is listed on the, the platform. So whereas it says that I've got theta of 313, that's actually higher because those black swan hedges are, are adding negative theta, which is fake negative theta. So I think we're doing fine. I think we're doing really good. All right, guys. Anyone got anything else? All right. If not, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.